This framework will change how you solve business problems. All problems can be divided into either drama problem or math problem. Drama problems are like high attrition rate of your team or avoiding tough conversations with investors. Math problems are like which marketing channel to double down on or improving sales conversion. Hi everyone, let's create this beautiful minimalistic edit. So first of all, I will create this background. So I'll bring in my default text layer and then hit Windows press dot key and head on to symbols and then select the square. Make the scale bigger and then we select this color. Okay, so I'll just head on to color, select this color equip tool and then click here. Okay, so we have now or the same color bag now. Now, the next thing is these circles. As you know, it was difficult to create this randomized moving circles in this cap cut. So these circles, I have done the animation and given you the files in the description. So you can use it in your videos as you please. So first of all, as we can see, there will be you know, this brain animation. Okay. So to make that, I will bring the brain PhD first. Okay. Put it over here and then, okay, first it is, okay. So zooming in, so I'll make the scale zero at the start, then go ahead and then make it under. So it will come here. Okay. So it is overshooting. As you can see, it is scaling up and then going back down. So what you will do is just over here. We can just make it no 110 and then just after a few planes we can make it back to 100 okay i have to make this animation smoother let's use key fakes let's give it out so the starting animation is taking a lot of time so i'll change the pins closer also who without now we are to add this blur effect okay to do that i'll just go down to my effects and then i will search for blur then i'll bring this blur effect at the start here okay and increase the distance click on the add the frame go ahead and again tick here go to the first go to the second key claim and make it zero and then do the same you get out animation okay so let this animation over here and now you have to you know simply bring these and put it below let's make them smaller and bring another one then make it smaller two put it behind okay so i just bring two of the thing circles and two of the green one okay now the next thing which we have to do is just you know do the animation when this is over here okay so when this opens up somewhere around here i'll just drag them a bit forward and then i will did transform keycring on all of them and go ahead and disperse them up like this okay and simply do key animation by heading here and then selecting key about okay do this for all the circles okay so you have got the starting animation so after the separate okay then they will start to come together okay so First, I'll go here, okay, and then hit on blend keyframe and go ahead and make it zero opacity. On K to open this keys ring, then I'll head down to blend and make it give it out, okay. And at the same time, what I can do is you no know, animate our circles too. So I'll make this green color come over here and this pink color come down. So let's do that. Just hit this. 
transform on or you add circles go ahead and then bring this over here and select this bring it over here and increase the size like this okay and similarly i'll just bring this here yeah for now just again smoothen out the animation we'll just like this and here we go okay do this for all the circles so now after this opens up and you know text will come in so just around here what i do is bring in my record text again now i'll simply head on to animation and select frame for both of these so our animation they look something like this after this we have to just compound click this screen animation okay and this etched with your vandus okay so i'll let all plus c to make them a compound clip okay and move them along together so basically after this drum set i'll head on transform tt go ahead and drag this up and make it big up like this okay and let's you know delete this another green you know and this another small pink one which is behind these layers so it will come up like this and this one this compound your bit with this text the hit him on plus g now i do the same animation it can song keep him go ahead and then drag this down it all plus k and then cubicle okay now the next part will be png of person so to do that first i will bring in my pngs now i'll make it small first we see the animation so when this goes up these all come in text comes in okay and then they go out so simply first add arrange them okay okay so after this you have to do animate them so simply i'll just you know pick on transform tp on all of them okay and then go ahead again a transform t them on all of them go to the first keyframe and then you know scale in down to zero okay so i'll fast forward this section what will happen is it will be zero at the starting and then it will come up like this hit all plus k and then cubic out okay that much and just bring the feet pins closer so after making this animation you know some of this will go out okay and then this dollar sign will come so that's easy to make so after the, you know this pencil some of them will go out so this simply you know select transform t frame okay on random and just selecting random ones go ahead i'll in a transform key then and then just you know and drag them out okay and then the text will come here okay just in the default text and okay so 
it's very simple and then do a fade out animation okay so there you go out so just bring them over here fade in animation and just you know group this up and go to out animation so then go top these and then let's go with this train okay as simple as that and then again this text animation and then this okay so text you can do yourself and for this dollar sign again it's easy so you know you can just bring your default text and then hit the dollar sign okay in that keyboard and make it green and then just design it like this how it's there in the video okay somewhat like this and you can do your text also so you know this animation actually is very simple okay but he has used you know simple graphics to portray this idea throughout this video so if you want to see the next part of this video where i'll be explaining this animation okay and this spawner animation so if you want to know this then help me get this video to 300 likes and then i can start making the second part of the video so See you in the next video.